So this is this is just in closing. See now, now that we've brought light to all of this information as to the America's fall at the hands of Iran, there will be a lot. We must now examine and address the fear aspect that many will see from this lesson and walk in. There's a lot of fear. Put a one in the chat if you know there's a lot of fearful people out here. <laughs> there's a lot of fearful people there's a lot of people who hear this and they move out of fear as opposed to out of wisdom and guidance from the most high and of his leaders <laughs> the bible fearful says that the most high dangerous not... people. what happened i was just saying fearful people are dangerous people very dangerous people the bible says that the most high has not given us a spirit of fear but one of faith Moving and making decisions out of fear and in haste will be the downfall and destruction of many. Instead, you must find a hedge and a leader who is calling on the correct name of the Father and is baptized and has received the Holy Spirit to guide your steps and pave the way for you as we are doing now. Yes, brothers and sisters, that's why we're on the outside of this country. We're building. Elder, are we not building? We are building. We made For a promise. Sure. We made a promise when we first came back with the lesson on the seven churches that this that this ministry was going to a different place. That's right. And since then, all the Most High has done is increase the work that we that we've been doing. <laughs> Get underneath leadership. Find someone to guide you and give you the correct guidance. To give you the correct guidance as to what to do and when to do it. Because you got a lot of people who are gonna be like, who? Oh, Oh, the famine. <laughs> what does the Bible say about that? Ecclesiastes chapter 2, verse 1. My son, if thou come to serve the Lord, prepare thy soul for temptation. Set thy heart aright. That means pray yourself. You know that the tests and the trials are coming. You know it's going to get difficult. So get your heart and your mind in the right place for this battle. Set thy heart aright. Constantly endure and make not haste. In time of trouble. <laughs> People are like, oh, oh, the, the food, the water's drying up, I gotta go. You're gonna flee, gonna flee a lion and run into a bear. You thought you were get, trying to get to a better situation. Listen, there's a very wise man, and he gave me some very important information. Uh, his son and I, he said, um, he gave, he gave us some important information, and it was relayed to me. He said, um, when I don't hear anything, I don't do anything. He said, I wait and I listen. I keep doing what I'm doing until the Most High tells me to do something different. Huh. That takes wisdom, patience of the Most High. It takes faith. To be able to sit while the entire world is falling around you and to know that the Most High said, no danger shall come nigh thee. <laughs> you have a lot of people, oh my God, the buildings are falling. The water's drying up. Did you feel the earthquake? Is it time? <laughs> Wait. Wait on you, you wait for the most high to tell you to move. If you don't know, if you're not, if you're not, listen, you get next to your leaders. Your leaders will tell you when it's time. We're developing all of this plan for when the time comes, you'll be rich. I promise you, ain't nobody gonna leave you behind. You will be in the loop. <laughs> you'll be okay. Right, Albert? That's right. If Verse three, verse 3 says, cleave unto him and depart not away that thou mayest be increased at that last end. He said, if you don't know what to do, you cleave to the most high. You keep his law. You keep his commandments until he tells you what to do. It is important to understand that if your reason for leaving is self-preservation self in the aspect of fear, utilizing the righteousness of others to survive, I'm going to say that again so that the people in the back hear me. If your reason for leaving is self-preservation in the aspect of fear, or you're using, using the righteous, the righteousness of others to survive, 
The Most High knows your heart and will destroy you. You might as well stay right in Babylon because he's going to destroy you the same way. He's going to destroy you the same way. He knows your heart. He knows what's in you. You might as well have just stayed in Babylon, lived it up, and called it a day. <laughs> Put a one in the chat if you're still hearing me. Second Ezra chapter 16, verse 54. Behold, the Lord knoweth the works of men, their imaginations, their thoughts, and their hearts. Are you leaving because you're being led by the Most High? Are you leaving because you're listening to the counsel of your leaders and of your elders? Are you leaving because you know it's the Most High's redemption? Are you leaving because you're afraid to die? The true battle we must fight now and on our way to the wilderness is against sin. That's the true battle. Because those who are weighed down by sin will not survive no matter where they are in this earth. You could be on a stairway to heaven and still, <laughs> and still wind up destroyed. I don't care where you are. Come on. Jeremiah chapter 50, verse 20 says, In those days and in that time, saith the Lord, the iniquity of Israel shall be sought for, and there shall be none. And the sins of Judah, they shall not be found, for I will pardon them whom I reserve. He is going to reserve the ones where no sin is found. If you got sin, you aren't going nowhere. Because in these days, those who, first of all, call upon the name of the Lord, the same shall be saved. You got to know the name of the Most High. The Most High says that th those who know my name, the Most High said, my people know my name. My people know my name. Oh, Baal just means, you guys don't know what you're talking about. Baal just means Lord or Master. Yeah, and it's also the name of a God of the Canaanites. It's a name. Brothers and sisters, <laughs> he said that he that that the sin that the iniquity of Israel shall be sought for, and there shall be none, and the sins of Judah, and they shall not be found amongst his people, the people that he are reserving, that he is reserving. There's not going to be any sin found amongst them. That means that. We should be practicing the righteous acts, keeping his law, statutes, and commandments, practicing those things now so that when the time comes, we're being led of the Holy Spirit and not of our flesh. Deny your flesh now to increase later. Well said, put a, Bishop. Put a one in the chat if you're hearing me. Second Ezra chapter 16, verse 64. We're closing it out. Almost done. Therefore, Hath the Lord exactly searched out all your works, and he, shall, and he will put you all to shame. When your sins are brought forth, ye shall be ashamed before men, and your own sins shall be your accusers in that day. <laughs> what will ye do? Or will ye hide your sins before God and his angels? Behold, God himself is the judge. Fear him, leave off from your sins and forget your iniquities to meddle no more in them forever. So shall God lead you forth and deliver you from all trouble. That is how you get delivered from trouble. That is how you are guided towards Zion. That is how you survive the last days to make it back to our kingdom. That's Gentiles and Israelites alike. Sin can't be present. He said, God himself is the judge. Leave off from your sins. Forget your iniquities. Meddle in them no more forever. Understand, if you got people that you be around that cause for you to sin, cut them off. They're going to die anyways. Let the dead bury the dead. Last thing you need is for them tempting you to go back to your sin, living your whole life. Listen, I always said this. I always said this. 
If you want to do something you never did, you got to do things you never done. That means you may have to go somewhere without some people. That means you might got to leave some people behind because they aren't going where you're going and they don't plan to go where you're going. I, like I, I say it all the time, life is like an elevator. Elders heard me say this before. Life is like an elevator. It has a weight capacity. That's right. Everyone who gets on has a plan. I'm going to level 30. I'm going to level 14. Not everybody's going to 50 with you. Not everybody's going to the top with you. Sometimes it's time to kick them off. Especially if they're weighing the elevator down and you can't get to where you're trying to go. There's somebody around you that tempts, th that tempts you to sing your right hand offends you, cut it off. Unless you want that right hand to be the res th that right hand to be right with you in hate. Mm -hmm. You're gonna be looking like right at that right hand, like, look what you made me do. <laughs> Both of y'all down there looking at each other all crazy. Exactly. Con. And don't be one of those people that mistake uh, righteousness for, I will say, a mistake association with righteousness as <laughs> righteousness. Yeah. It's a lot of people like that. They'll try I to attach the themselves to you. <laughs> be careful with that. Listen. <laughs> be careful with it. It says that those who meddle no more in their sins, those people who leave their sins behind, it says God shall lead you forth and deliver you from all trouble. If you want to be led, if you want to be led to the promised land, if you want to get out of the situation, the only way out is through the most high. And the only way to the most high is through a pure heart and mind. That's right. <laughs> Last thing you want to do is return to your sin and them demons. Remember, legion, you leave it off once. That demon leaves. When it comes back, it's coming back stronger. And how many of y'all want to be want to fall when the end comes? It might be too late. Somebody too needs late. to hear you say that again. I said, how many of y'all? Demon, that demon is going to leave. And when it comes back to test you, it's coming back with friends. And how many of y'all want to be in that last home stretch and fall or be in the wilderness? Remember what he said here. What did he say? He said, um, therefore, hath the Lord exactly searched out all your works and he will put you all to shame. You will be embarrassed before the entire world. You ain't in no sin. <laughs> Jer Second Ezra chapter 16 verse 74 I'm going to give you some I'm going to give you give you a little bit more here we're almost done Second Ezra chapter 16 verse 74 hear O ye my beloved saith the Lord behold the day of trouble the days of trouble are at hand the days of trouble are at hand but I will deliver you from the same be ye not afraid, neither doubt, for God is your God. And the God of them who keep my commandments and precepts, saith the Lord God. <laughs> mm -hmm. Be not afraid, neither doubt, for God is your God. And the God of them who keep my commandments and precepts, there is a stipulation. Check this out, saith the Lord God. Let not your sins weigh you down and let not your iniquity lift up themselves. Hmm. Guess what? The hour of, of temptation is here, brothers and sisters. You're going to get out of that wilderness. You're going to be tempted in every way possible. Mm -hmm. You're like, listen, one, nobody trying to talk to me. And now every woman in the world want to come and try to communicate understand that's not that woman wanting to communicate it's the devil i don't even know why i reached out i know why the devil <laughs>
Listen, every an hour of temptation, everything that you could want or desire from your flesh is going to be readily available to you. That's why he says, let not thine iniquities lift up themselves. They've been subdued, but they're going to try to peek up a little bit. Woe be unto them that are bound with their sins and covered their iniquities like a field and covered with their iniquities like a field covered with bushes. <laughs> Woe be unto them that are bound by their sins. And the path thereof covered with thorns that no man may travel through. It is left undressed and it is cast into the fire to be consumed therewith. What do you do when you got too much land to mow? You burn it. When the land overgrows, the grass gets too tall, you got tree branches and everything in there, burn it. <laughs> You're going to be just like that foliage, overgrown, undressed, going into the fire. Let not your sins weigh you down. He will guide those who keep his law to the best of their ability with their whole heart towards Christ and his kingdom. Listen, I promise you this. You fear death, death will find you. Death will find you if you fear it. Quote that. If you fear death, death will find you. And, and listen, I don't fear death. But the scriptures say that there will be some who will be headed, who be beheaded for the witness of Christ. I don't fear death. Oh, do you fear death? No, no, sir. Not anymore. <laughs> <laughs> not anymore. How about any of y'all? Y'all fear death? No. <laughs> Listen. Can't fear it. If you leave the United States fearing death, death will find you. Swift judgment. Shalom, family, and thank you for watching. If you want to see more videos like these, including our full-length lessons and live streams, subscribe to our YouTube channel, House of Judah International Fellowship Church. Also, give us a follow on all of our other social media platforms, Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok.